folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Wildwood X-Lite 171RBXL. This is the shortest and lightest weight unit in the lineup. Let's start right over here on the camp side. You'll see you have the camp side dinette. I like when manufacturers do this because it gives you a great spot to be able to sit down. That way you have a spot to eat your breakfast, have your morning coffee, and much more importantly is you get the view out to your campsite. That's the view you want, not looking out at your neighbors. If you need additional sleeping space, this does drop down into a bed. You just remove the legs here, the table will drop right down. You'll also notice the roller shades on here. So you have upgraded shades all throughout the living area and you have easy access storage. You'll see the doors right here. These swing open. You have these little bins that pop up nice and easy. Now they're not super heavy duty, so you're not like you can load it with a ton of weight, but if you wanna put some bedding, pillows, things like that down there, it does make it much easier to get to. Right up top, you have some additional storage. You have the frosted glass in there, your multimedia center right here. That unit does control the speakers outside as well as in here, and it is Bluetooth capable. We take a look right up top, you will see this one has a ducted AC unit. That is actually pretty uncommon in smaller floor plans like this. Generally, you just have the uh, direct vent right here, but this one is ducted throughout. It also has the quick dump, so if you do just wanna cool this main area off, you can open that up. That way it's not ducting throughout the whole thing. LED lights, as you would expect as well. Right on the back wall here is your thermostat. This does control both your ducted AC as well as the heat. Right in the back is the bathroom. We'll open this up for you if you come on in. You'll start uh, kind of right here on this wall. So you have a little storage that hangs up whoop, right here. So this is kind of cool. You see it has a bunch of zippered compartments right there. So it just gives you a little bit of uh, you know, extra space to put some of your goodies in. You also have a large wardrobe here. You can see all the hanging space you have going across the top. You have mirrors on both the doors. Your toilet, foot flush lever toilet is right below. I'll kind of take a seat here just to give you an idea of space. Uh, you know, I definitely have plenty of leg room for the shoulders. It's a little tight on my right shoulder, but you know, I'm fairly wide in the shoulders here. And again, it's, it's not too bad at all. Right over to the side, you'll see a cutout. So if you have a small trash can, you can put it there. Otherwise you can put toilet paper, whatever else. I like that they extended the countertop over so that way you get the use a good usable countertop space. And if you see right underneath, you'll see uh, additional storage right under there as well. You'll also notice the mirror right up top here. And then if we go in a little ways, you see the Neo Angle shower. So if we can cut right in there, you'll see the shower with the roller door, skylight above. You also have a linen closet right back here. It's kind of tough to see, but there you are. So you have uh, great extra storage for all of your towels and any other bathroom goodies that you want to stick in there. When we take a step right back out here, you will move into the kitchen. This is one of my favorite parts about the X-Lite series, especially again in a small unit like this, you usually don't have this. This is a the Everchill 10.7 cubic foot, which folks, uh, just so you know, most times in this a floor plan this size, they will give you a six cubic foot. Having the 10.7 is awesome. That is massive and it's 12 volt. So that way, you know, you don't have to worry about running it off propane. Uh, if you have shore power, great, but this one does run off your battery, which is really cool. So if you're out boondocking, you know, you can have solar uh, helping to recharge your battery a little bit. And again, that one, as I said, just runs off that 12 volt. You have the microwave right up top, right underneath is your hood with both the light and the fan. Again, some additional storage. We'll open this one up for you just to kind of give you an idea of the storage size in there. And then you'll see you have the shelf built in as well. So that way it's already kind of pre-divided for you. Uh, countertops, they picked a great color in here. You'll also see they give you a countertop extension. I really like that because that way it gives you more usable space and it allows them to give you the full size appliances. And by that, I mean, you know, the big double bowl sink right here as well as the three burner cooktop. You have this uh, little cover right here. So this kind of rolls up just like so. If you want to roll it up and out of the way, or you can have it laid down, you know, and you put your dishes on there and just nice little drying rack and prep space as well. The three burner cooktop does, as I mentioned, has a glass cover for prep folds up and out of the way just like so or you can have it down you have the little light right here so you can uh, light up your knobs which is uh, you know just gives it a, a kind of a nice look at night or during the day but at night it also kind of acts as a courtesy light if you just want a night light to get up on be able to see the bathroom in the middle of the night and it also controls the light right here in your oven so that way you know if you want an oven light you can pop that right on a couple of drawers pull those out for you give you an idea of size so you know as you can see you have plenty of space for all of your flatware other serving utensils you know, larger knives spatulas things like that spot for your pots and pans then right there and then your furnace is actually right there underneath 
Moving up a little ways uh, to the front here, so you have a window on the side, USB ports if you need to plug in some electronics, you have your standard electrical outlet right underneath that for a CPAP machine, whatever else you need to plug in. Great storage on both sides, you see wardrobe storage on both sides, as well as the storage right here underneath, so good storage there. That actually goes to your outside storage compartment, you'll kind of see you have a pass-through storage, I'll show you that when we go out there. Um, this, of course, is your jackknife sofa. Gives you a great spot to sit. Again, it's the big advantage of having a Murphy bed in a smaller camper like this. But to make it into a bed, it's super simple. Uh, so when it comes to Murphy beds, you usually get one of two things. You have it uh, you know, look really pretty and be a pain to set up, or it doesn't look the greatest, but it's super easy, and that's what this one is. So you kind of fold it up, drops down just like that, and you have the two locks. You undo the locks on both sides right here, and just like that, folks, it folds right down. One piece bed, super easy. You can leave the bed made up just like it is. So it is very, very simple to make up. You also have the shelf right up top there and it does lock into place to lift it back up. I don't know if you saw, but there's this little lever right here on this side. So you have this, you just pull that and that'll unlock it so you can put the bed back in place, lock it right back up, put your sofa back up and you're good to go. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at the outside of the Wildwood X-Lite 171RBXL. Right up front is the power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle because you can just flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue rather than having to do it manually. In the rare event of a failure, you can pop this off. That way you can do it manually if you have to. Right behind that, you have two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. A little bit further back, you have rails for the battery here, but more importantly is this, the fact you have a battery disconnect. Folks, again, on a travel trailer this size, it's something you very, very rarely get. That's a great feature to have so you can just flip that over. It'll kill all power to the coach when you're not using it. So that way you don't have that constant battery drain. You have the diamond plating coming up the front here and the smooth aluminum front. I prefer this over the rigid or over the ribbed rather because not only does it look nicer, but it's also a lot easier to clean. And seeing as how the majority of your bug splatters from travel will be on the front, anything you can do to make that process a little bit easier is a great thing in my book. Coming around to the side, solar prep right here. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and you are good to go. The pass-through is magnetic, so you can put it up just like that. No tabs or anything to break off. If we take a look inside here, as I mentioned, it does have some pass-through storage. So you can see right here, this is that storage we saw earlier inside. You have that on both sides there. And of course, the bed goes up front, but you do still have some additional storage right there underneath. So I am glad they put that in there because they didn't have to. You know, some manufacturers with this setup will actually close that off and just give you two little side compartments. This is much more usable. You'll see the power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It does have an LED light strip up there, so you have light at night. You also have the two outside speakers located right here. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but as I previously mentioned, that unit is Bluetooth capable. One of my favorite parts are these solid steps. A lot of manufacturers are starting to go to these. I'm glad the X-Lite did as well. They're exactly that. They are very solid. You know, I'm a pretty decent sized guy, can jump up and down on here. It doesn't have that springboard effect like the old uh, kind of fold up style do. And then you also have aluminum treads which aren't going to rust out on you. Electrical outlet right out here. It's pretty self-explanatory. You need to plug anything in, that'll be the place to do it. And not only do you have that front storage compartment, but right back here you have this additional storage compartment. Now, at first glance, you may be like, well, this looks kind of cheap and chintzy, but honestly, uh, the, the reason they did it is because you get to use this as a storage compartment. Again, they didn't have to put this in here, but they left this like so because it gives you access for any kind of wind winterization. You can see your valves right there, so that way you can bypass your water heater. So having that access is actually a really nice feature. I'm, I'm glad that they put it in there and did it the way they did. Right here in the back, square tubular bumper with the end caps gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that is your spare tire with a cover. So uh, not only is that easy to get to, but it should also stay in good shape because of that cover. If we drop down underneath, I want to show you this. This is something, again, you don't see on many travel trailers. Uh, so you have your normal stabilizer jack, but you also have the JT strong arm. So that, you know, you'll see the scissor jack, you know, kind of goes this way and it kind of forms your triangles here. But this forms another one from the frame right on down to that jack, really helping that stabilization. So, you know, when you put all four down and you use those JT strong arms, it is a lot more stable than other travel trailers of this size. Taking a look right up top, you see the backup camera prep. Great thing about that is because it is prepped, it's a lot easier to install, meaning if you want a backup camera, having it installed is a lot less money because it's already pre-wired for you. 
right over here are your cable and satellite inlets. So if you plan on, if you have camp uh, cable at your campsite or if you have a satellite, plan on using it, that's where you'll plug it in at. Low point drain right down here as well as your main termination. You can see both your gray tank valve as well as your black tank valve located right there. 30 amp power cords tucked right inside the unit. Just pull that out and plug it in for shore power. Right up front here is your, uh, your fresh water fill. So if you're going somewhere and you don't have water or city water connection, you need to fill the fresh water tank, that's where you'll do it. If you do have city water, then you will hook that guy right up there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Wildwood x Lite 171 RBXL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.